Hey, how's it going guys? Bear with me emulating here for a Tekken 5. So hopefully it's all good, but I want to talk about my personal favourite arm, um, Tekken game, and why I enjoy it so much. FK screen. I will actually we have that Tekken arm um, 7, but it's way away, not as fast. Um, so I was here in the practice, as I find it the uh, easiest way to explain and show. I'll pick Jin for a second. But in this game, Lee, Lee was my main man. In Tekken 6, Lee was also my main man. But this map, this stage right here, is one of the sickest things in all of Tekken history. This map, being a little kid and going to this map, when it first came out or just well, when I first got to this stage, I was blown away. This stage was so sick. This character here with all his um, little taunts, like come on, and his little these like weird uh, sounds that he made I thought he was so so sick I absolutely love this character I wish he was easier to play in um uh, what do you call it Tekken 7 for sure like back then I didn't know how to do combo I didn't know how to do misstep or anything like that this character Lee is just he's so sick this is what made this entire game for me Lee Lee Jin and Paul and Devil Jin as well. Devil Jin was huge. Um, unlocking him, I thought he was the sickest character like ever. I, right now, I think Lee is seriously so sick, so cool, and he's so iconic in this game. He's like Tuxedo. He's not Tekken 7. It's so iconic. I'm, I'm baffled it's not in Tekken uh, 7 at all. It's surprising. It really is surprising. But this game, Tekken 5, I want it. The, the, the um recent PS3 uh, down the down the road with online, but this game something special. Just playing this game, how it feels like it feels so different um, compared to Tekken 7. It feels it feels so smooth when it shouldn't feel so smooth. Like a misstep like this, like it feels so weird. It just feels so different. Are you? It feels, it feels like I'm driving a better car <laughs> than Tekken is. Like, it is so crisp feeling. I don't know if it's just because it's a classic or it's not nostalgia boner, but it is so good. The game, the music, every stage, every soundtrack in this game really is spot on. But they brought Drag's Nest back for Tekken 7, but they can't bring back Moonlight Wilderness, which is... Like, look at this. This stage with really the music, like, like, look at that detail, look at all the flowers that come from the screen. Tekken, Tekken 7, we walk in snow and we get nothing, <laughs> we get no footprints, nothing like that. This game was just a hell of time, I really reckon it was. I still reckon it's a hell of time. I know, um, look at all this, like, Tekken 4, and then Tekken 5 became, um, uh, really popular with those people that hated Tekken 4. And for me, I really enjoyed uh, all the Tekken games. I thought they were all so sick. Like, th this one, I love Tekken 4, but this one blew my mind away. And then this would be the last Tekken game I played up until um, 7. Unless you count Tekken 6 or PSP, but. They really don't make them like they used to, honestly. I know Street Fighter 5 is like. not doing so hot right now. Um, Tekken 7 is doing a lot better than it's like ever done, which is uh, fantastic, it really is fantastic. I'm hoping to get Tekken 8 soon because I, I, wanna, I want Tekken to get back to its roots, like I love the coasters, keep the coasters, keep the rage drive, keep the rage drives, but just, I don't know, just the aesthetic feel about Tekken 5, it feels so, it feels so good, it really does, like, it's still complicated and whatnot. You have small, much, much smaller combos. You can't cross through, of course. I have no idea what a combo would be for Lee. But I think like a normal combo in this game would be something like, like in, yeah, like that. That would be like a normal combo. If, if I was playing someone like Jin, I could do a much uh, better combo, of course. Like, I feel like I get so lost in this game. If they like even just. 
uh, remaster this and just put it on PC. Because we, we never got any Tekken besides 7 on PC. So if they just remaster this and put it on PC, it would be so good. It really would be fantastic. It would have a huge player base, probably than Street Fighter. <laughs> Like, Tekken is most of the time, if not all the time, uh, bigger than Street Fighter on PC. But, uh, Street Fighter is also cross compatibility with uh, PlayStation. So, who knows how big it really is. But Tekken usually has around 2k plus people on daily. I reckon this would easily 2k people on daily as well. There's just there's so many people that are still playing Tekken at, at this Tekken, and then they couldn't just get into new Tekkens and stuff like that, but this one is really... It really is, I think, one of the best Tekkens. I know a lot of um, the Asian players say um, Tekken 6 was the best Tekken, or their favorite Tekken. Like, to me, the Tekken 5 and Tekken 6, they feel very much alike, except for the fact that you can uh, corkscrew, or bound, I should say, at the wall. Like you can get a full bound at the wall, or you can get a full bound normally. But it's not much, it's not like a course group, but you can get a bound. But still, um, nothing too fancy with the combos. In this, it's very, very simple. Like two electrics, interfell sweep, there's your, there's your combo, that's it. Still must have been like really difficult for people to do back then, like... On side swap, I don't know if I'll... Yeah, on side swap, I... <laughs> I don't know if I can sidestep now. Maybe if I go from the rear. Okay, there it is. I wouldn't like. Like, even the death of. Like, death of field. Look at this. Look, look, look at this death of field. He's in the flowers. Or oh, the flowers are covering him up. It gives like a sense of distance. It looks so fucking sick. Like, it really does look so sick. And, uh, like. It feels a bit weirder to Korean backdash if they even was invented in here. But it feels so so clean. Like I feel like uh, with, with the song on the stage, I feel like I've practiced in here for hours upon hours. Like I know in Tekken 7 have infinite as well, which people really enjoy. But this a war stage, so clean, so fucking brilliant. After Tekken 4's crazy stage designs, they made some crazy crazy stage designs in Tekken 5 as well. And then even Tekken 6 and Tag had crazy stage designs. And then 7, it's just like everyone's in a rectangle stage, that's it. It really feels like that. Like we have violet stage, but it doesn't feel as special. Like Like when you would do this the same move in Tekken 7. Like it feels it feels, it feels great, but in this it also feels fantastic <laughs> and like the elastic sounds it makes, I don't know, it just feels... I don't know, I, I could be just blinded, but... Like, like, Lee feels more, like, proper, like, he feels more like an actual character in this game. Like, I know in Tekken 7 he has a part of his own story, but he doesn't do much, he doesn't say why he's, he's doing too much, he just wants to help things and save Jin, I guess, but other than that, that's it. Tekken 5, I know he had his uh, funny well, com comedical um, story, but just the way he acts and talks, it makes him feel more like of a character than he does in 7 in, in this game. And I don't know if that was intentional or what, but like, he's supposed to be the little battle, that's where the unicorn, because he's supposed to be this, like, Fighting is beautiful, unicorn in the back, beautiful creature, yada yada. Which I I understand, but the Tekken fight they really captured that like aspect of overly I reckon. Might be because I'm fanboying over <laughs> one of my favorite characters, of course. But like it, 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 this tuxedo was in um in uh, Tekken Seven. Like it would be so sick, and then. I don't know if it's because uh, misstep recovers so quick here, but it feels, uh, it feels, this entire game, it feels polished, it feels so polished. I know Tekken 7, like, it took a bit, and it had its own, um, problems when it came out, of course. But this feels like, I know, I know it also got, uh, it's dark, uh, 
dark version, dark revelations or something, which people didn't like as much as Tekken 5 apparently, or something like that. Where I had a bunch of new moves, um, uh, some new characters, and bring back some old... Yeah, I think that's where Dragon was introduced. Uh, I feel like I'm just ranting. I feel like I'm just going into a rant of how much I love this game and how much um, uh, it means to me. Like it's so sick. It really is sick. <laughs> so I can say like this entire stage because in Tekken and Seven the lighting's a bit weird. Like in this like oh no, the, the lighting just on the stage for me it just looks so sick. Lee, you can really tell that he is the silver hair demon. You look at him, he's like, oh, he's got silver hair. He's the silver hair demon. As he's known. Oh, he's so, so sick. Oh, like, this is an actual combo that's even more sick. Oh, he's enjoy his back four. Like, like, this move right here, it's a power crush now. But that is, like, one of the sickest moves ever. And then, like, the way he moves into the foreground like that. And then, I swap sides as well. Like, it just feels so, so sick. Like, just the movement, it feels... Like, it feels so fluent, the movement. Like, this is not even probably back, actually. It's just me, uh, sidestepping and, and moving. It feels so good. And then... Like, as I said, if I move away from him, I just <laughs> sidestep and walk away. The way the flowers block both of us, that makes, as I said, field of death that actually exists here. And then, especially when I start up as well, the flowers getting into the camera, like, it looks so sick. Like, especially, like, because we didn't have too much good footage of, like, pros playing it from 2005, or whenever it came out, but... Just imagine this, or just just this stage, or some, or even the same as aesthetic, coming back to Tekken 8, or, or something like that, just the same aesthetic. It would be so, so sick, I reckon. Like, I, I know people really love Tekken 4, a lot of people really love Tekken 3, Tekken 5 is up there, and Tekken 6 is really up there, now I know Tekken 7 is, I think, the most popular Tekken's ever been, I think. It's just been really popular. And I'm glad, I'm glad, so I hope that encourages Bandai to go back to the roots, maybe. Like, because this is just... Like you say over and over, it's so, so sick. I, I could just get, as I said, lost playing in this route, and I've just been, uh, uh, going on and on about, <laughs> about it, but it's just so sick. Uh, I might do some videos on it, uh, who knows, but, uh, this was just supposed to be, no, it wasn't supposed to be any type of video, it was just supposed to be me talking and explaining why I love Tekken 5, and why it's my favorite Tekken, it's just, it's just a really great experience that I got to play as a kid, and then, yeah, look, as I said, it was the last Tekken that I played besides 7 because I didn't end up getting Tekken 6 or Tag so it was really unfortunate but it was fantastic to play it and Mario back in Tekken 7 is so good I want to play this character, I want to play the living shit out of Lee but he's so difficult so that might be a project for me when Season 3 comes out and he has his um he doesn't have it in this game well, well, from this move he goes into um into a one option. He has a free option after that. That is so weird that army. Um, it feels like it would have something like after that, but anyway, in Tekken 7, he has a course route off that. So when you launch someone, so when you're launching someone, you're carrying them. You launch someone, you're carrying them. Carrying them, hit him with that, and then goes into the corkscrew when he leans forward, and then I can just run up and then run up and then. Well, he's two, he's four, two, one, of course. I wonder does he just one, two, four? Yes, he does. Like, you see, he's so sick, he's so sick. Alright, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. That'll be it for me for, the, for this video. Take care. I will see you guys. Bye bye.